What up, everybody, and welcome to the new episode of the SBR podcast. Today, we have another independent rap artist that lives in the UK, and his name is Ian. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. How you doing, man? I'm oh, good, thank you. So, basically, um, Ian, all I have to do with you is asking you 10 questions about your experience in the rap game television shows of course and video games etc and you have to respond it as soon as possible of how you can express it with it you know what i mean yeah no worries all right first question is what made you want to become a musician rapper um so i've been a musician since i was 16 uh, started playing uh, guitar at 16 and was in bands in rock bands uh, pretty much like Nirvana. They were my main influence growing up. And when I turned 40, I decided to be a rapper. So two years ago, um, June, so this month is going to be two years I've been rapping. Um, and before that, I was I was more lyrical, but I did rock music. Oh, you actually did? Yeah. Yeah, I've only rapped for two years. Two years. That's yeah. That's really short. Yeah, I mean, I used to write a lot anyway, so lyrically I was strong. And over the past two years, I've just progressed my rap technique more and more. I just had the guts just to drop music, um, which a lot of people don't when they're not that good. <laughs> I mean, uh, lyrically, you have to know more about the storytelling and uh, how you manage to put that message well, and they should have a good reaction to it, you know what I mean? I've found life experience helps and I went through a lot the past seven years that helped me. If you, if you listen to my songs, you'll hear they're all a lot of personal songs. Um, yeah. Yeah. Life. Yeah. It will get deep, really deep. Mm. And just say, cause if, if you make a song about, you know, some deep shit, they will, they will have a reflection to it. Yeah. You can get a message across better if you've had the experiences in your life. Yeah. Totally understandable. Next question. Uh, favorite rap genre that you ever was born to? Um, I don't know about genre, but Eminem was my, you know, made me love rap, made me love lyrical rap. Old school? Um, old school, but I followed his career. So I followed everything and I appreciated the development. And I've not kind of, I'm not one of these people that go, oh, I need to hear this old stuff. You know, that was his past. I very much believe in artist development and you got to go with it, really, if you like the artist. I mean, he's done some amazing stuff. If you listen to Leaving Heaven on his last album, that was my most played song of last year. It's an amazing song. So you get used to the old school boom bap, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, that's it's simple, um, simple stuff to listen to. And Eminem kind of developed it to another level. Yeah, right. And you just get used to the message and uh, how the production was. Yeah, yeah, and I appreciate the development. I mean, it, it, the development over the years, there was a distinct development. And a lot of people just stick to the same thing. I mean, if you listen to Dax at the moment, he might as well be just playing the same song over and over again. There's no real artist development going on. He's great. He's a good rapper, but he's not developing what he's doing. Uh, next question. Favorite nostalgic video game that you've played? Name at least five video games. Okay, so my, if I had to say my favorite period of time playing a game, it would have been Modern Warfare 2. Um, just I'm wrapping that at Christmas and playing it all Christmas Day, and the year that followed that was just awesome. Um, so it's my favorite game, Modern Warfare 2. Um, five games, man. Let me think. So Recently, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite, but obviously that's not nostalgic. Um, you, you're probably too young for this game. Ghouls and Ghosts, do you remember that? Ghosts and Ghosts. Ghouls and Ghosts. This was called Go Ghouls and Goblins as well, I think. It was on the Mega Drive, Sega Mega Drive. Yeah, I think I remember. Um, Streets of Rage and Double Dragon. Double Dragon. Double Dragon was the game that when we was kids, you used to go in every arcade and be queuing for the machine, man. <laughs> Maybe Street Fighter as well. Um, Street Fighter, so, yeah, yeah. We'll throw Street Fighter in there, yeah, definitely. I used to spend all my paper around money on that. <laughs> Get more used to it. These games will grow up as your favorite childhood video game that you have played a long time ago. 
Yeah, they're just the only thing with Street Fighter, just to me now, it doesn't have any playability just because the development of games have just got so good. Next question Who inspired you to make music? Um, Nirvana, Kurt Cobain. He inspired me to learn the guitar, to want to be able to sing and not necessarily be the best singer in the world, just to know that with singing with passion and getting a message across was more important. So that was where I come from. It made me very sloppy and I was never a perfectionist, but he was my main influence. Damn. Damn, for real. So you got inspired into the rock shit. Yeah, my first guitar was a Jag Stang that Kurt Cobain designed, which I recently just sold, actually, 23 years later. <laughs> Damn. Next question. What did the name of Zui Dion came from, and why do you think it would actually sue well as your own rap stage name? So my name's Dion, and I wrote some lyrics, and one of my friends went, that's solid, Dion. So I combined the words, Solidian, and made a name. And I thought it was a good one word names go pretty well. The only yeah. problem is Alexa doesn't recognize it. So if you say it to Alexa, it will play you Celine Dion. Get it because, uh, you know, the name Celine Dion uh, could actually pronounce it like, you know, if you remove without an O I, uh, it's solid. Yes. Yeah. And then Dion is my name at the end. So it's uh, the uh, D doubles up. So it's actually your, your real life, your surname, right? Yes, yeah, my Christian name is Dion. Yeah. All right, next question. What is your creativity process like? So my creativity process starts with the music. Um, doesn't start with lyrics. I rarely write, I'll sometimes write couplets down, but then they never get used. So I'm not one of these people, if I write a load of stuff down, it, it will not get used in a song. So I get the music first and then I just write from there. Um, normally on a subject, so find a subject that relates to if it's got a hook and away I go. Really honest, uh, next question. What's your favorite television show? Um, my favorite series ever was Sons of Anarchy. Have you seen that? I think so. Uh, what is it like? Is it like, you know... Uh, it's uh, a motorbike gang, but it's a pretty... The story is amazing. Very gritty. It's a bit like uh, Breaking Bad and those sort of things. Oh. Next question. Uh, how will you describe the music that you typically create? Um, so I'm very lyrical. Uh, it's always it seems to be quite moody, my music. It's never really from a, a light perspective. It's probably from a darker side of life that I like people to relate to. So life experiences, you know, that people can be, a lot of people have messaged me and said, you know, this has helped me for a relationship, breakups you know, just certain stuff. My last song that I did with We Scheme was about not being able to comprehend being mortal. So the fact that and I, I don't want to die, people don't want to die, people relate to that. So it's, you know, it's tough people relate to. Yeah, I will definitely check that, that song, We, we Scheme. Uh, yeah, I think you'll like it, man. It's a cool song. I will think I will like it, definitely. Uh, next question. What are your future plans? My future plan, this year I wrote down my goals. I heard that Dax actually writes down numbers. So you actually put numbers down and he says if you put them into real life, they, they can come into real life. So I wrote some numbers down in January and I've already passed all of them. So I don't know, really. I'm just going to see what happens. <laughs> it's been a good year. So far, uh, yeah. So far. <laughs> Final question. Uh, this one is for possibility your drops new music whatever uh any album singles will be dropped this year if yes then when um so no album planned yet because of i work 45 hours a week so i don't really get enough time to put out to do the music and not actually put it out otherwise i'd be putting nothing out for six months um so i'm probably dropping a single at least once a month at the moment but i've dropped three in the last month on my youtube channel um so one was a cover and some original ones on there. One with Wee Scheme. And one this weekend, I think, is by far my best um, single called Long Game. If you check that out, it's a dark, just a dark thing about taking someone to a, a grave and burying them. <laughs> 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 it's a good song. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, that was it. Uh, any last words before you wrap up, uh, Dion? Um, no, just check out my YouTube channel, Solidian. Um, and that's about it, really. Thanks for having me. His social media will be in the link in the description below to follow him, uh, get to know him better personally on music. 
and follow me on the social media as well. Make sure to check him out. It will be definitely be appreciated to get him Thank you. A, a lot of recognition. Anyway, uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode.